What's going on guys? So um, I just wanted to hop on here and give you guys my thoughts of voting and what the experience was like, especially as a first time voter. Uh, I voted before in the primaries, but it's my first presidential election that I've, I've voted in. Um, so first of all, uh, I have to say, <laughs> I think this election is one of the most important elections ever. Uh, me personally, I don't like either candidates, Trump or Biden. So th that even make, made this a really uphill battle, you know? Uh, me personally, I, I was I, I was not gonna just go out and vote for a party just because someone says to vote for them. Um, I look at both sides. Uh, but me personally, if I had to choose between either, either of them, I would just rather choose like Chuck E. Cheese or something, you know, uh, that's how, that's how hard it was. But yeah, at the same time, I still went out and vote. Uh, but I want to talk about the whole experience. Oh, so first of all, uh, it was, it was seamless, smooth. Like I went there, I thought I was going to wait hours in line and surprisingly, I just walked right in, gave them my ID, got my ballot, filled it out, push it in. I was done, you know, in and out less than five minutes. I think that that I think that also deters a lot of people from going because people think that oh they're gonna be standing in line for hours and hours and hours. It wasn't like that, you know. Um, I think maybe because a lot of people do, done early voting too, that had to do that had something to do with it. Uh, but yeah, back to this um, election. Uh, yeah, so I'm glad that I voted. Um, honestly, I, even now I was like, yo, I'm not gonna vote, but I'm glad that I did, and. Another thing too is how the polling stations have this bias, you know, like as soon as you go there, you have like a whole bunch of people there outside and it's trying to like hand you like ballots say, hey, these are all the democratic uh, candidates, you know, go, go, these are all democratic candidates. This is running for mayor. I'm like, well, hold up. Me as someone who never, you know, cause my thing is, okay, I'm just going to go vote for who I'm going to vote for as president and obviously Congress. But I didn't know that <laughs> it had way more than what was on there. You know, at school board district, city treasurer, it had like a whole bunch of different things. And I think for them to just hand you a whole ballot with all, nothing but those party members, uh, it would get a lot of people to like, you know, fall into that bias. Um, the same thing happened when I went to go vote for the primaries. Um, while I was voting, like I didn't, I mean, once I voted for who I went to go vote for, uh, the ballots that were, there was like ballots like right there as you were voting, like some paper with like people's names on it. And then, you know, I feel, I didn't know anybody, anybody, I didn't know any one of them, if I'm be honest with you. So I just like fill it in, you know, give them a vote. I didn't know who they are. I think we need, definitely need to get rid of that. But that's uh, my part too, for not being as informed. I guess, you know, cause people only go there to vote for the president, you know, but there's a lot of pieces that, that matters too, that we gotta be informed on. Uh, yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. I got other points that I wanted to say. Uh, <laughs> hold on guys, I'm really trying to get, get, get my train of thought about back. Oh yeah. And uh, as for the people who, who said that, oh, they're not gonna vote, um, their vote don't matter. Uh, I think that's wrong because uh, even on, on the ballot, there were questions on there that really had to do with where I'm from in Virginia. So basically one of the questions like, do you think um, uh, military veterans uh, who were like active, um, permanent veterans who, you know, served their time, do you think that they should pay state taxes on their vehicle every year? You know, that was one of the questions that we had to vote on, uh, yes or no. Uh, there was another one too, in terms of like district lines. Do you think the Supreme Court of, of Virginia should, should um, tune in to, to make the district lines if they can't come to agreement? That was one of the other questions. And then there was like, you know, other people on, on it, like I said before, uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's one reason why I think that it's important. You know, it's not about just the, the president, you know, there's other pieces that you could vote for. So to, for you to say, hey, my vote don't matter, you know, I think that P 
people voting hasn't been around long. You know, like people fought for my right to vote, you know, your right to vote. So I think that wh why waste it? You know, just, just do it. Why waste it? There's no reason to waste it. Just go out and do it. So to really sum up everything, um, this election, uh, even though I didn't like both candidates, you know, I still went out and, and vote for, <laughs> I vote for one of them. Um, I'm not gonna mention who I voted for, but yeah, hopefully there's gonna be some change. You know, hopefully I see change in this next election. And for those of you who haven't voted yet, um, I mean, <laughs> you better go out there and vote. You know, I hope you voted. And uh, if you didn't vote, I don't wanna hear you say anything uh, about who won, you know? Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, next time my closing points, you know, gotta be informed, uh, which I wasn't all that informed, especially with the other people on the ballot. Uh, you know, you, you gotta just go out there and do it. <laughs>